Welcome to my channel, Bloody B here, and today we are going to look at Service Titan one more time. And what I want to show you is how to add new customers to Service Titan, what kind of information you can add, um, and how you can manage customers in general. So let's start with a new customer. So all new customers are added from the calls tab. Let's say if you are in reports or if you are in settings, you have to click into calls and that takes you to this window. So this is actually a quick search. And there are two places where you can search for customers and everything else. You can click into the search and this is a really extensive search where you can search by uh, the batch number for accounting, call, customer equipment estimate, etc. All those uh, different things. And then here are the filters. Lots of different filters you can use. But when you go to the calls window, this is where you can quickly search for a customer. So whether you have a name, street number, a zip code, you can search all the customers by a specific zip code. And then also by the phone number. And then you click search. I always recommend searching by the actual street address. The reason is because you may have customers with the exact same first name. Let's say you had a customer added and then their wife or their husband calls you back and you're searching for their name, but their name is not in the system because their husband or their wife name is in the system. Or maybe they called you from a different number. So that is not going to find it and you may think that it's a new customer. And then when you go to add it, it's going to tell you, oh, this service location actually exists. So what you do is you search by the street. And that way, no matter what, the property will show up because it can be two, three, five people living in the same property. To add a new customer, you click new customer. Very simple. And this is what you need to enter. And once you're in the window to add a new customer, you start with their name. It can be a tenant or location name or actual customer name. So let's put John Smith as an example. Let's just put a random address. One, two, three, four, Tropicana. Now it's gonna show you, I click tab and it shows me uh, an address that it finds that's the closest to that. In this case, for some reason, it found something really weird. But if that happens to you, and but this is the actual address, one, two, three, four, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into enter manually and then it, you can override it. So you can actually put one, two, three, four, uh, unit number if it's a condo, city for example las vegas and v zip code 89147 uh, and no notice how when i enter that it actually gave me uh, an address is a real address that i found so if i click on that it kind of verifies that and then you can put the mobile number now whenever you add a customer to the service titan from a call window meaning the customer is actually calling you to one of the service item numbers you pulled it's going to show you inside this bubble it's going to show that number and it's going to auto fill it and then you can also add the email address save that's it this customer is now in my system and uh, including their location so this is the card the customer's card this are all the different forms i have created within service titan that you can email to the customer you can print it you can view it and but this is the actual location so right now it's showing me the location notice now i have two things here i can click on this i can click on their name which opens the customer or i can click on the location which opens the location from the location window i can book a job so here i can already start booking this job if i click on here though I won't be able to book a job because I haven't selected a location, but I can see all of the customer's information. So now that I go inside the customer, I can actually edit the customer's information and it gives me way more options. So for example, I can add tags. You can tag each customer with a specific tag. For example, I can add a do not service tag or whatever you want to add in there. And then in search, when you go into the advanced search, you can actually search by tags. You can put internal notes that only your company will see. Here's something that I created. This is called custom fields and I created uh, custom fields that I can enter in here. So I go into my custom fields. You notice that it's created in here. So when I go into custom field, I can call it whatever I want and where it appears. I can select where it's going to appear in the customer record and location record, job record, project record, purchase order. And then you start selecting what is it going to be? Okay, it's going to be, for example, a drop down. What is going to be my drop down? Okay, so let's say I call it system type. I do HVAC. So what is the system type? And then it's going to be uh, gas split, for example, right? Click to add an option. Heat pump split. Create another option. Gas package. Click another option. Heat pump package. Right? And then you save it, and once you save it, then later on, and, and you select where you want those options to appear, 
now you ha you're gonna have that in here so I actually have already uh, accessories thing so what kind of an accessory this customer has I can select that from the drop down that I've created do they have a home warranty yes no uh, number of units notice how I can remember that I could change it from a drop down to text or to numeric if you select numeric it's just gonna give you a drop down like this one except with numbers so this is what what it looks like when you're editing the customer now I can also edit the actual uh, location so if I go this is my customers page this customers page on this page you can add notes notes for a customer right you can pin the notes uh, you can add them to the location page because it's gonna be a different page now that I save that it's actually gonna add uh, everybody will be able to see that any photos and videos uh, you add any documents you can add through here are gonna show in there and then the very bottom is gonna you can also add location so this is not a cool thing you can add a location for this customer so that here on the on the bottom where it says locations uh, you will have multiple locations a lot of my customers have rental properties and what happens is they have multiple locations and then they call me and they say I need a service for this location or I need service for that location and then I can quickly click on that specific location they want uh, and then I click on book a job right so here you can select, you can add zones that you can uh, later on, the, the, software, the software will automatically assign zones based on specific zip codes. So for example, Spring Valley is that zip code. That's why it shows that. You will also be able to see on, on the customer's record all the jobs that have ever been created, all the phone calls that have been made through Service Titan to and from that customer. Uh, all the invoices, all the estimates, everything, everything, everything will be in this page. Uh, job specific notes and attachments will be under the actual specific location. So for example, if I have two locations and I added pictures to this location but not the other one, it's going to show under the customer's profile and under this location, but it's not going to show under another location because it's specific to that location. Uh, you can look at property that and data. So for example, this specific random address that I picked and this is the uh, the information about that address it's built in, two, uh, in 2005 that's the estimated value I think they use like Zillow or something for that it's a beta version but something recent it shows you the square footage of the home the lot size right it shows you like how many stories that is lots of really useful information actually so you can also sell memberships so if you offer membership you can sell that and then it's gonna create recurring services you can add equipment, create projects. So lots of different options that are available over here. And also, real quickly, if you want to deactivate a customer, maybe the customer moved, doesn't exist anymore, you just go to their customer's page and go to edit. So here is my customer's page. I click on the pencil to edit it. And on the very bottom, there is a deactivate button. I click on that. Are you sure? Okay. That customer is now inactive. It's he's gonna stay inside your service titan, but nobody's gonna see it unless they specifically search for inactive customers, so it doesn't interfere with your everyday work. If you go into the location and go into uh, edit that, you can also deactivate it from there too. You can deactivate the location, and now everything is inactive. And if I go into search and I search for John Smith. Here's someone calling me, by the way, and it's most likely scam before because everybody calling from Home Advisor seems to be spam. So let's let me search for John Smith. Let's clear that. John Smith. No results because I deactivated it. But if I go, for example, into search, I search for customers. I can actually search for inactive customers, and I'm going to put John Smith, <clears throat> and it finds it. It found that inactive customer. If I deselect the inactive, search again for John Smith, no results found. So that if you're looking for regular customers, you don't get confused that way. So this, you guys, was a quick overview of how to add and manage customers within your service Titan software. Drop some comments below with uh, some requests of which features you would like to see inside service Titan. And I, would be, I will be really happy to make that for you. Also, please like that video so more people can see it, so that YouTube shows it to more people that may be interested in that. And definitely subscribe to see some other useful content. Thank you, and I will see you next time.